G'day folks, today we're gonna to talk about a crucial tool for the long-term growth of your web design, SEO, or digital agency, creating a future-based org chart. If you wanna avoid chaos and build a sustainable, profitable agency that scales with ease, then this video is for you. We're also gonna dive into the difference between a traditional hierarchical structure and a pod style structure so you can figure out which approach is best for your agency. So let's start with the big picture. Why a future-based org chart is so important? Most agency owners only think about hiring when they're feeling overwhelmed and need immediate help. And while that solves a short-term problem, it's a reactive approach that can actually stunt your agency's long-term growth. A future-based org chart is your roadmap for building a scalable team. It helps you anticipate the roles and responsibilities that your agency will need as it grows instead of scrambling to hire when things get too busy. By looking ahead, whether it's just six months or a couple of years in front, you can plan for success, avoiding the common pitfalls of overwork, inefficiency and burnout that hold so many agencies back. So if you're only thinking about today's needs, you're constantly in firefighting mode. And I see this happen all the time with the agency owners that we work with, the owner themselves overworking themselves or their teams because they're always hiring for what's right in front of them instead of planning for where they want the agency to go. And that might work for a while, but eventually you'll hit a ceiling. Growth becomes harder, clients start slipping through the cracks and suddenly you're wondering why you're putting in all these hours but not seeing the results you want. And that's why a future-based org chart isn't just a nice to have, but it's a must have for serious growth. So let's talk about two common ways agencies structure their teams, a traditional hierarchical structure and a pod style structure. In a typical hierarchy, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You've got the leadership at the top, maybe a director or two in the middle, and then team members below them all reporting up. It's great for clarity. Everyone knows who they report to and what their role is. But here's the thing, as your agency grows, this structure can become a bit of a bottleneck. Communication can get slow, decisions take longer to make, and you end up spending too much time managing instead of focusing on strategy or client work. And that's where the pod style structure comes in. Instead of grouping people by department, you form cross-functional teams or pods. Each pod is responsible for managing a set of clients or projects from start to finish. This structure encourages collaboration and speed because the team has everything it needs to make decisions and execute right within the pod. So how do you actually create a future-based org chart? Well, let's break it down into a few key steps. First, and I know this sounds super boring, you need to be clear on your agency's vision. Where do you wanna be in six months, a year, three years? Maybe it's about taking on bigger clients or bigger projects or increasing your recurring revenue. Whatever the goal is, that will inform what roles and skills you need on your team. Next, think about the roles you don't have yet, but you'll need as you grow. Maybe it's a project manager to free up your time or a dedicated sales rep to bring in new business. Even if you're not ready to hire today, mapping those roles out helps you stay ahead of the curve. It's not about filling these roles immediately. Instead, set milestones for when it makes sense to hire. Use metrics like revenue targets or the number of clients per project manager as benchmarks. This way you'll know when it's time to expand the team without stretching too thin. And finally, make sure your leadership team is aligned with this vision. Everyone should be clear on their responsibilities and how they contribute to the agency's long-term growth. This will help avoid overlap or confusion and keep things running smoothly. So what can you do right now? Well, start by sketching out a future version of your org chart, even if it's just two or three roles that you're not ready to hire for yet. Consider whether hierarchical or pod style structure would work better for your team as you grow. And remember, it's not about perfection. This is a tool that should evolve with your agency. It's a living, breathing document. The goal is to make sure you're thinking proactively about your team's future so you can scale efficiently without the typical growing pains. Hey, if this video is helpful, then make sure to hit the like button and let me know in the comments which structure you think works best for your agency, hierarchical or pod style. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on how to grow and scale your agency. I'll see you in the next video. I'm Troy Dean. Let's get to work.